All right, this is a very quick tutorial to hopefully make frame by frame animation a little less daunting in Procreate Dreams. What I've done, I've created a drawing layer and imported some paper texture. That's just uh, to make it feel a little bit less empty when you first start. Um, hit the plus sign and create a new track. And then make sure this is right at the start. Uh, and then I'm drawing a very simple shape right here. And what I'm going to do is split the track here one, one frame in like that with edit and split. And on that newly split track, I'm just going to erase that first image and then roughly sketch in where I want that little face to be at the end of my little animation. So let's have it this side, slightly bigger eyes like that. So now you've got two frames. And that's it. No, I'm kidding. Um, now, uh, you want to drag this down so you're in flipbook mode with those two frames like that. Start on your first frame, hit plus, and you've got an empty frame in, in between the two you've just drawn. Now this, I'm going to put my very middle frame right there. And that's onion skinning showing you the frame before and the frame afterwards like that. So now you've got a middle frame to work from. And with that, you can add in-betweens from your first frame and your middle frame, rather than having to work out where you want the animation to end up. You've already got a middle and an end point there. So I'm gonna hit plus and I can see my first frame and the next frame, I'm gonna do an in-between right there, like that. So if I loop it again, I've already got a nice little animation going on. And if you want it smoother, just find your first frame, the next frame, add one in between those. So you're filling that little gap too. I have my uh, my video thing set to 12 frames a second, which I think is decent enough. See, you got that little animation there like that. Uh, now coming out to my main timeline again. Let's see. A little loop. And then, um, Obviously you can add more frames in, but what I want to do, they don't seem very well lined up for me. So what I'm going to do, deselect the paintbrush tool and you can go in and see it's highlighted so you can move it around. That second one, I'm going to add it a little bit closer to that first one like that. You can click one of the corners and rotate it if you need to. Same with that next frame, move it a little bit closer. The onion skinning is showing on the main timeline that you did with, with the flip book. Uh, option there, have that in the middle. So it's a little bit smoother now. But what I want to do is have it easing into that last one because it, it kind of feels like it's just hitting static up like, right there, like that. So let's split this keyframe, this uh, bit of the timeline, into two. And what I'm going to do, drag the face across like that. So it's not like hitting a brick wall, he's coming to a real quick stop with that, with that little bit of easing there. And I'm going to split it again and move it just a smaller bit than the first one. So now you get the idea. It's a bit wibbly. Let's see. Like that. And that's about <laughs> half a second. But you can see how we started off with the first image where, where your character starts. And we drew the last image where we want him to end up and then just filled in the gaps in the middle rather than start there, draw the next frame, not quite knowing where you were going to end up. That, and you can sort your timing like that. So you say in two seconds, I want my guy to be up here with a smile on his face. So you draw your first frame where you want him started. Skip forward two seconds on your timeline. Draw him there with a smile on his face. Then go into flip book mode and you can plot exactly how you want him to get to that point with the onion skinning in. Yeah. Well, I hope that made sense. If you have any uh, questions, just let me know.